Bring it over. How heavy is this thing? It's uh, not. It's kind of just. We'll awkward. let you and David. Let's get a close oh, yeah. up right there. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. He he works out. No. <laughs> Hate this. About to throw this thing up there. Boy, britches up. So how many dogs will fit in this? Four, six, just two? No. I don't know. We probably get at least six. Sure of mud, and dirt, and a lot of cow shit, and a lot of blood. So what's the plan, man? Let the dogs out. Let them find uh, some pigs. We got GPS collars, so we'll see them. Uh, they have like a there's their voice box right here on the collar. It vibrates whenever a dog barks. And it sends a signal to their us. vocal cords vibrate. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, uh, yeah, if you didn't know, but the do dogs the collars, vocal cords. The collars pick up vibrations, and then it just sends it to us, and it says like pings or something. Yeah, pretty much. It'll tell us where they are. How many of them, like uh, of the dogs, are circled up? If they're bait or not? If they're not mm -hmm. moving? So it's just Garmin. They have sick. Stuff figured out. Yo, Garmin guys. If anybody <laughs> from Garmin's watching this, they got a lot of dogs. They got a lot of y'all stuff. I mean, they can use some more. You, you never have too many collars. Always need more. They always need more collars. Garmin. There's like a one in like a 50 bajillion chance someone from Garmin was watching this. <laughs> but, yo, sales at ChevyOffRunning.com, send me an email. <laughs> Careless merch plug, too. Oh, always, always. <laughs> Hungerholics.com. <laughs> yeah, bro, you but never plug. Got the dogs in front of us in the back of the can ham. We rolling with the, the ham name these days. And then... That thing is going to be squat. Oh yeah, with people, plus that metal thing in the back, and the dogs, well, most usually, definitely. Usually we gotta stack figs on top of it. Yeah, look, we that's where the candy. donuts. Oh, top donuts? Yeah, that's, Dude, that's where that's we got donuts, donuts this morning, man. Woo -hoo -hoo. Y'all ever coming through Cameron, Yo, Texas? Yo, Cameron, listen, listen. <laughs> Yo, hold, hold, hold up, hold up. Cameron, Texas, ham and cheese croissant, top donuts. Paid advertisement. Just kidding.
Those teeth look better. Huh? Hey, watch out this way. I'll shoot it right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, watch out, guys. I'm going to shoot it one time. I, I can see him from over here, yeah. Yeah, it, it's hard. I'd have to get in there about five or six feet to be able to see him on video, though. It's it's pretty open right here, guys, but you'd have to crawl through. Hey, Colton, can you can crawl through right here if you wanted to. Uh, I mean, I've seen him stare at me. They're right through there on the other side of all those bushes. You can't get through here unless you crawl, literally. so thick you can't see him right now. I can barely see him. But how was that? That was awesome. That was good. How was I that? Enjoyed that? You got a cut. I know. A scar, battle scars, going after the hole. Mm -hmm. oh. What's cool about him is the dogs, the dogs did the job. They bait him up several times, several times. but he, mm -hmm. was, he was in an area where he was so thick we couldn't get to him. And so that's where teamwork you know, came into play. You knocked him out of the woods. I mean, I didn't want to push too hard into yeah. the woods because you don't want to just spook him and then have to run half a mile after right. him. But, I mean, it yeah. was enough to get him down here where y'all could yeah. get a shot. It so, nice it, it, shot. it worked. Definitely not optimal, but yep. it definitely worked. But Team that's, that's, the biggest, that's the biggest pig so far. <clears throat> He's got some cojones on him. Oh, those are whoo, those are big. He's got a broken cutter on the bottom on this side. Top one's all right. Not very sharp, but on the other side, he's got another broken one and then a pretty sharp one. Top one's broken on this side to so the opposite, and then that one's pretty sharp. That one will, that one will cut you up or kill a dog. Like I say, I had just moved from there to come down this path. That's why I went down. What a day. Uh, it starts off with this hog here. Uh, the dogs caught uh, this hog in an open field. Uh, unfortunately, um, we 
couldn't get a shot on it with a, with a firearm, so uh, I had to come up and uh, stick the hog and, and put them down. But it was it was adrenaline pumping. It was exciting. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's exactly. That's exactly what I said. Get a little one. <laughs> Man, I am way out of shape. <laughs> Sonny, She's the same way yesterday, just... Yeah, yeah this is what I do. No, she's doing good. <laughs> I don't know, we can, we'll, let's go ahead and kill this one. It's got some... Kind of <laughs> you know? <laughs> Get ahead. Get ahead. Get ahead. Oh, that that one was with others, definitely. Oh, yeah. I don't know how old that one is, but in a few months, that one's gonna poop out 10 to 20. And then in six months, she's gonna poop out another 10 to 20. And then that 10 to 20, however many, you know, if half of them are. you lost me, but I No, it's, they just, they multiply so quick. Three of them. Yeah, three months, three weeks, three days, somewhere in there. But it's real pretty in here. You got some big trees and a little bit of undergrowth. Yeah, they said something about, they like let people ride the trails with horses and stuff. You see all the signs. I wanna see if we could see where they were rooting up. Oh yeah, that's definitely pigs. If we get it'd be really good to show some of the destruction but i mean we really haven't found any large you know sections of it i got it on the gopro I don't know, it's, it, it could be good and bad with the audience, you know, because most people, big deer hunters, old, mature animals, but there's not really, you let all the little pigs go, they're just going to make more little pigs, and then they'll be big, and yeah, that wouldn't have been too bad, if, I mean, they, they got to it and tore that one up just because it wasn't 
probably wasn't fighting back very much. Those dogs are in there. Right here. Oh. One that's by itself, by itself. Turn around. He's in there. You got a shot on him. There's no dogs right there. He's right inside. They're just running all through there. I don't know if it was worth getting all this way for this one, but it's worth it. I wasn't just gonna leave you over here in case it was something big. With with just that knife, man, I was like, you know what? I'll dry off. Well, I mean, there was a, there was a decent chance it was a little one, but I wasn't gonna. What you doing? Um, what y'all doing? Uh, about to cross this creek again. Did you just get out? Uh, I mean, we've that's that's too kind of piglet-ish so far. I mean, we've been out for hour and a half, two hours now. Are those guys gonna go all day, or what are they doing? No idea. Are y'all doing tonight? I have, I have no idea. I, I don't think I can tonight because I have class in the morning that I'm not doing very good in. So I actually have to attend class. It sucks. Taking off all the electronic collars.
unfortunately, this is the end of a long weekend of hunting, guys. Uh, if y'all haven't watched the thermal video, then it'll be linked at the end of this video, guys. Uh, let me know what y'all think about the dog hunts and just all these hunts from this past weekend. If y'all want more footage, videos, stuff like that, then uh, I can go out next weekend somewhere with, with somebody. We can get it done again. Uh, but I want y'all to let me know. So leave that in the comments down below, guys. Uh, I think I mentioned it somewhere in there, but unfortunately, uh, my buddy Colton lost a dog, Red. Uh, I was with the third pig, the big pig, and uh, it's it just sucks, guys. It's part of the it's part of the game, but it's it's unfortunate, you know. The uh, he said that it wasn't a big a big cut. But it, it, it was enough that it was enough to puncture something and he said that he could see the the ring where red was running around the pig when they had it bait up and I mean her heart was pumping she was excited uh we we can we can believe it wasn't painful she's red red was the one with the huge cut on the side I if I have some footage I'll put it in here uh, from whenever they were in the kennel I think I looked at it but you know, she was, she was definitely, definitely a good dog. She was fearless and she got in on those pigs, jumped in and was giving them hell. And, uh, this one just was able to stick her in the right spot. And man, it's unfortunate. It sucks. It sucks, man. I mean, I can only imagine losing a dog that's mine and I feel bad about him losing a dog and it's not mine you know what i mean so that sucks guys but man she went out doing what she loved working hard all day from sun up to sundown or not sundown but whenever we were hunting you know until it happened she was running and gunning and just ready to roll she was a workhorse um if there's any other footage or anything like that of her that I have that I find then uh, I'll be sure to play it, play it through here but <sighs> damn guys you know it's unfortunate but that second pig had some cutters and was it sliced up a few dogs in a few spots but the third pig didn't even have you know any any big cutters on it it had one that was nice and sharp and it just did the right thing at the right time and Red was just in the wrong spot. So, man, that sucks. But, just part of it. I hope y'all like this video, guys. Uh, until the next one, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>